How do you speak to God and about God when it feels like the Lord has turned your life upside down and, and not in a good way? That's the struggle that Naomi faced in her, in her grief, in the anguish of soul that she was experiencing at the end of Ruth chapter 1. We're reading through that whole book today, if you're reading through the Bible along with me. It's a great story, a story which could have been named Naomi instead of Ruth because she's just as much a central character. Well, Naomi's situation at the beginning of the book is that she's lost everything. She's lost her husband, she's lost her two sons, and so when she comes back to Bethlehem after all these years of exile, she says to the uh, the women of the community, don't call me Naomi, which means pleasant, call me Mara, which means bitter, because it feels like the Lord has embittered her life. He's turned against her, testified against her. Now, I think there's a twofold lesson there for us who are going through periods of grief or struggle. Number one, Naomi was honest. And the Psalms are full of honest, open prayers where we lament to God about the situation in which we find ourselves. And some of these prayers are quite raw, and there's nothing wrong with praying them. God has given them to us to pray. But secondly, what Naomi didn't realize, and what many of us don't realize too, is that when we're going through periods of darkness and grief, that there's light and hope that is in the future. We just can't see it now. It was like that with Naomi. You get to the end of her story, and she has a lot of reason to hope and rejoice. And that is the way that God works in our own lives as well, because he's the God of resurrection, the God who gives us hope in the midst of our grief.